Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and I open subscription boxes. So if you're new here and like this kind of content, thank you for joining us today and I hope you subscribe and go check out my other videos. I got a bunch over there, so plenty to choose from. Today I have five boxes for us. I have these I, when I got these in, I just basically categorized them to like a miscellaneous pile and then more along the lines of what, um, ladies would like. So ladies, this one is for you. This is the more home and take care of yourself, take time for yourself type of video for us, um, type of boxes for us. So like I said, I have five. So we'll just start with the smallest box on top of this pile here. We'll start with the smallest one, which is Velabox. Velabox, if you do not know and have not heard of them, they are a candle company. So once a month, you will get a new candle shipped to you. They have three different subscription levels, $10, $20, and $30. $10 level gets you a four ounce candle. The $20 level gets you an eight ounce candle and the $30 level gets you both the four and eight ounce candle. The four ounce and eight ounce singles are the same scent. And in the $30 box, the four ounce and eight ounce candles are different scents. And it is the four ounce candle that is the scent that is only available in the larger box. Also, each box has a bonus gift each month. Sometimes related to candles, sometimes completely unrelated. So these are all October boxes. Let's see what we got. You return like autumn and I fall every time. All right, each month they send their candles in these nice little canvas bags these are kind of um has kind of an a yellow tan undertone very neutral bag very useful and then each month the candles do come in a glass jar and our free gift, bonus gift of this box is Tea with Tay, a traditional chai tea. This appears to be a high caffeinated, highly caffeinated tea. It has um, Ceylon, Ceylon black tea, cardamom, ginger, cinnamon, and cloves. There's that. And the Tea with Tay elevates the drinking, the tea drinking experience. They're a woman-owned company with an emphasis on eco-friendly packaging. All their sachets are not only biodegradable, but plastic free. And this chai tea is perfect for enjoying sophisticated tea blends of cardamom, ginger, cinnamon, and cloves while you're constantly on the move and hustling every day. Sometimes all you need is a warm cup of tea. Fun. Cool, cool. Now, the four ounce candle looks like the company this month is Beverly and Third Candle Co. And that is in the scent Happy Camper, which has scent notes of air, apple, caramel, raspberry, and cedar. And this is the scent that would only be in the $30 or the very box. Oh, that's good. That one, this is a really heavy cedar, cedar and apple scent, but really heavy on the cedar. So I love this one. And these are all hand poured soy wax with a cotton wick. Now, Beverly and Third 
was inspired by founder Melissa's grandma, who always encouraged her to live life to the fullest and to follow her dreams. Deciding to act on the dream of owning her own business, she bought a few supplies, started testing wax, wicks, and fragrances, and starting an Etsy store with just a few cents. All right, so another canvas bag for the eight ounce candle. And this scent is the one that would come in all of the boxes. And this is toasted pumpkin. Oh yes, so good. Oh. So good. I love these boxes. I love candles, love candles. Oh, yum. Okay, so the toasted pumpkin has set notes of pumpkin, obviously, nutmeg, obviously, cinnamon, and smoke. It doesn't get much better than this blend of cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, and toasted pumpkin. It is the nostalgia of coming home to the mouth-watering scent of fall treats baking in the oven. Perhaps this combination is just the perfect recipe for feelings of coziness and comfort. Yes. This smells so good. This smells so good. I just went to Marshall's and Target today. No, not Marshall's. World Market. We were going to go to Marshall's, but I didn't have time. We had to get back in time. But Target had three wick, wood wick candles. And I've got one burning right now. Whiskey and oak barrel. Mmm. Smells so good. So good. And then here it says, okay, I don't know why this, maybe my subscription is running like my years up. I don't know. But it says, sadly, your gift subscription ends here. Now it's time. Now it's up to you to keep the good smells and good vibes coming. So it gives me a coupon code which is valid through September 20th, which is a month ago, probably about a month prior to me getting this box even. <laughs> um, I'm sure that still works though, but that's nice if that's the end of my, if that's the end of my uh, year long subscription that they will send out a little reminder type thing. So, oh, and I'm not sure, was it last month or the month before? that I received a candle broken and it wasn't even salvageable. It was, I couldn't, I didn't even take it out of the bag. I didn't even save the bag. It was just busted completely. First one I've ever had that problem with and reached out to them. I got a replacement within the week. So kudos to them for that. So that was Bella Box. And again, that subscription with the two candles is $30. Next, we'll go into BoxyCharm for the month of October. I didn't pre-open, I didn't pre-open any of these. I was a good girl this time. I didn't peek. So this is my BoxyCharm for October. BoxyCharm base box is $25 a month, and then they're... Um, premium box is $35 a month and then every quarter you can upgrade for $50 or an additional however much to get to your $50 for the boxy lux and the base box I just get the base box I don't need a bunch of makeup I prefer more skincare but I do need to keep my makeup game going. It's starting to improve, so hopefully hopefully by the wedding that I'm in next month, I'll be able to do my face. But yeah, so this is the base box for October. Spellbound is the theme. And mine is Z variation two, looks like. Okay, so variation two.
Oh. Boxy breaking news. So now we've got... Awesome, they're giving me the um, opening dates for their different online stuff. That's awesome. Because I don't pay attention to my emails, really. Okay, let's see. First paper. Get that out of the way. <clears throat> First up... We have from Tarte C, Wink of H2O, and this is a vegan collagen eye cream. Like an espresso shot for your under eyes, a vegan skin-loving eye cream that reduces the appearance of puffiness and dark circles for a refreshed, youthful look. The weightless water-based formula gives a lift lifted effect and is clinically proven to deliver 24-hour hydration helps firm and fight signs of aging with Hydroflex technology and creates a crease resistant base and this MSRP is $35. Alright, well it has it's a very nice soft cream. That's nice. It has um it has a smell of just your basic unscented lotion type of a scent, unscented face cream scent. It's not bad. Okay, so there's that for $35. Then we have the Ace Beauty, Ace Beauté Falling For You eyeshadow palette. Let's see what these colors look like. The Falling For You palette represents some of your most favorite things about the fall season. Each color has been carefully milled and pressed to provide the easiest application and the most excellent color payoff. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay. Those are nice. Now this dark one down here, this is chestnut. That's not a black. Let's see what. That's like a dark chocolate brown. Or a purple, like a purple brown. What does the cherry pie look like? This is a shimmer, wow. So there is the cherry pie. And how about the candy corn? That is an orange, a red orange color. I am not sure if I'd be able to pull that one off. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Play around with that one. Most definitely I will. Cool, cool. Okay, next we have from TYNT Lash and Brow Duo, and this is a brown brow gel. One of these days I'm going to decide that I'm just going to do this without worrying about editing. So again, this is from TYNT and this is their Lash and Brow Duo. This duo solves the endless search for mascara and brow gel in the abyss of your makeup bag. Ooh. Um, it combines two products in one. The mascara is created with a smooth, oil-rich... Huh. Oh. With a smooth, oil-rich um, formula with strong color payoff, leaving lashes longer, naturally fuller, and thicker without 
plump. Oh, okay. So there is the mascara brush. Very fine. That fine. That looks like um, maybe plastic or silicone bristles. And then this was the brow brush. So that's cool. This is an MSRP of $29. Oh, and the Ace Beauté palette was $34.99 if I forgot to mention that. Actually, let's put this back in here so I don't completely lose everything. At least so it doesn't roll. Next up, we have camera, camera and you, camera a unique beauty, Mary Lash. Okay, so that is the name of the company, Camera Camara. A unique Kamara a unique and these are lashes those are nice those are really um, simple oh okay they slide out oh they slide out like that it's a little drawer Okay, so that's that. This is the most natural lash in the collection and is perfect for the woman who wants to keep it real with her beauty. It's a soft and light whisper lash that looks perfect on all eye shapes. And this has an MSRP of $25. And... Because they didn't send any application technique with this, at least, they sent this adhesive liquid liner from Appeal Cosmetics. This is the newest and most innovative, innovative way to apply your faux lashes. Step, up, step aside tubes of glue. This ultra-fine liner is easy to apply and a hot way to spice up in any eye Luke. MSRP of $29. Okay. All right. And so that is this. And just a felt tip. You can do a pretty you can do a pretty thin line or a thick line and those are both one one swipe. So that's cool. That this one looks to be a lot easier to use than the other liquid liner adhesive that I have. So, okay. So I'm a little bit more excited about the lashes because we have some liner, um, adhesive liner. I'm not unhappy about getting lashes. I just, if it didn't come with adhesive with it, I, okay. So this was my Boxy charm as I try to throw everything out. This was my boxy charm for October. I liked this one. I really liked this one. This one I think was better than last month's. The eyeshadow 
eyeshadow palette I'm not sure about. That might be a little bit too bold for me to be able to pull off. But I'll play around with it and see. And a little bit of the makeup remover wipe and that came off just fine. Cool. Next, we have Caribbean Inspired Treasures. Who has seen me unbox this before? Who saw the first unboxing of this that I did? Because y'all remember that? Yep, I still use it every single day. It's awesome. My favorite. Love it. Okay, <clears throat> Caribbean Inspired Treasures. I believe these guys are $45 a month. Let me check quick because I don't want to get that one. I don't want to get that one wrong. $55 a month, not $45. Okay, so they are $55 a month and $8 shipping. They also only ship to the United States currently. So, and in case you couldn't guess it by the name of the box, it is a beachy subscription. So if you like your beach vibes, this one's for you. Let's see where we're going in this one. <clears throat> Tammy, I'm thankful for your support of my big dream. I hope you enjoy the Caribbean Getaway Treasures Enclosed. Wave, waves from the beach, Christy. Little handwritten note from the owner and curator. And inside of the envelope, she's such a sweetheart. Inside of the envelope, you have your little product, um, product guide. When you can't escape to the Caribbean. This month is all about escaping to the Caribbean while we sit at home on our couch. Yeah. Because as much as I'd love to, I'm not going to make it down there anytime soon. On the inside of that, it does list everything inside. And then a little bit about, let's see, this one is the Turks and Caicos Islands. So there is that we have our little beachy print the very first box we got a refrigerator magnet um, picture frame so we can just change out the prints every month all right now we're down to the tissue yay bubble wrap there we go. Ho oh, ho! I see marshmallows. Give me this. <clears throat> okay. So, first up, I'm going to try this out. You know what? I think I actually saw this. And I went shopping today and I think I actually saw this or something similar to this in the store today. That's kind of funny. The crisp smell of fall is in the air. And as we start all start settling in for the holidays, it's time to think about our 2022 travel plans. As the current health climate has caused, caused most of us to accept a travel pause, the travel boom is coming, and we don't want you to miss out on those white sands, warm sun, and blue waters awaiting you. Get started with a travel planner. Travel checklist journal, a portable travel, portable trip planner and diary. Okay. That oh, was that little pocket thing. Ha. Oh, cool. There's a little pocket on the back cover, the inside of the back cover. 
So this is nice. This is a thicker um, pressed cardboard type of material. And this, the back has the uh, little pocket in there. It does have your place marker or your book closure, whichever, however you choose to use it. Table of contents, just stuff that is in there. So day four gives you the day, the weather, destination, how to get there, travel companions, activities, hotel, restaurants, and entertainment. Day six, day nine, day 11. Oh my gosh, if I take a, how long is this? If I take a two week vacation, I am totally doing this. Because if I'm taking a two week vacation, I'm going to like Europe or something. Yeah, I'm down for that. I'm saving that for, I'm saving that for like one of more the more dream vacation type things. Yeah. Okay. Cooler weather means drier skin. Scrub away those rough spots with this raspberry vanilla base infused with the sweet, sweet fruity smell of fig with top notes of grapefruit, pear, pineapple, and melon combined with jasmine, gardenia, peach, and coconut. Enjoy the all natural shea butter and sugar in this Caribbean escape body scrub. Yes. Let's see. I cannot read this. Sleek Skins by Jasmine. That's purely a guess. So, Sleek Skins by Jasmine, I think. And there's nothing else on the package that tells me what... It is, yes, Sleek Skins by Jasmine. So there is that for you. And this is a small business that focuses on providing organic, vegan friendly sugar salt scrubs and buddy butters. Oh yeah, that's a very coconutty, pineapple coconut flavor. Very pineapple coconut flavor. I like this. I'm digging that. Yes, please. Okay, next we have every girl needs a unique handmade statement piece to talk about with her gal pals. This is cute. And this month we are adding sparkle to your life with the beautiful diamond cut anodized aluminum ring. Swirled with blue and green like the Caribbean Sea. Sized at a 7 to wear on a finger or pinky. See, I was checking my fingers here. Okay, so that fits on my ring finger there. That's cute. Obviously very lightweight. It's aluminum. Um, it's just a wire wrapped ring. But very well done. Things aren't catching. Everything is tucked in neatly where it's supposed to be. There's no sharp edges. So, yeah, very well done on that one. Is this by the... <clears throat> Looks like this must be from Crisart, and Christine is the owner. Strives to create one-of-a-kind pieces of unique design and color, appealing to women of all ages with an inclination toward whimsical, fun, and edgier pieces that make a bold statement. Christine began expressing her creativity as a woodcarver in 1995. In 2008, she took up pottery, leading to experiments with jewel-like carbacons, um, carbachons of melted glass and clay, which she calls glass geodes. Pretty. 
Having a lifelong love of jewelry, she began wire wrapping in 2009, incorporating the cabochons into pendants. She has since expanded the line to include earrings, rings, and bracelets. In addition, she is now a metalsmith working in mixed metals using several different techniques, including enameling, patina uh, patination, hammering, and soldering. Cool. Cool. So, yeah, I like that. That's cute. All right. Next up, the marshmallows. This taste bud tempter is handmade of pure cane, sugar, vanilla, oh, bean, sea salt, coconut, rum, and liqueur. Then rolled in freshly grated toasted coconut. These timeless favorites are transformed in delicious puffs of perfection. You're sure to be delighted with the Caribbean Island Getaway Gourmet Marshmallows. Oh my goodness. These are heavy. This is not... This is not light at all. This is not what a marshmallow, what your Stay Puff marshmallows feel like. This, this right here feels like a bag of marshmallows. <laughs> These are going to be rich and decadent, and I cannot wait to test these out. I am going to enjoy these later. I would love to right now, but I am afraid I might not be able to finish even one of them. I haven't really eaten a lot of substantial food today so we're gonna let that just mellow to add to the experience you'll find a hawaiian tropics sachet throw it in your gym bag for a touch of the tropics mm, excuse me let's see packing list forms This one is truly a travel theme. This is cool, cool, cool. This is actually decently an ingenious thing to do. You only get four of those. So just a little snippet of those. An electric blue metallic pen, which is a twisty pen? No. Okay, there it is. It is a capped pen. Do you fit on that side? Yes, you do. And how do you write? Oh, it's like a gel pen too, so even better, it writes beautifully. All right, so I'm digging that. Four beach themed magnetic bookmarks, which I took. So here is, I have a slippers or flip flops. Slippers, if you are in Hawaii. I did live there long enough to get used to calling them slippers. And then a little sand dollar. And those you can put on, well, not in a, not in a fat. These you can just clip on and they'll magnetize together. And then you've got yourself a little bookmark. So you have flip flops on one side and then on the other side, you have a little arrow so you can do it down the side of the paper. So if I did it this way, it's like sign here type of a deal. So I only have two of those. It says four on the thing. 
Um, but I'm not sure if that means four separate or if it was like a misprint because there's four packing list forms and it says four on there. So um, Beach Loomed Magnetic Bookmarks, the Turks and Caicos Info card, which is on the bottom half of your pamphlet card, and the beach print for your magnet frame. Also, in our little starfishy box, if you are a new subscriber, your first month, you will get a little bracelet. And then you will also get a little charm to put on that bracelet. Oh, we have a mermaid tail. That is cute. My sister-in-law is going to be a little bit jealous of me on this one. This one's cute. And then along with some candies. So that's adorable. All right, and there is the Turks and Caicos information. Super fun. What's next? This one is another candle company. This one is Wicked Bayou Candle Company. These guys with tax are, or with, um, not tax, with shipping, are like 21 and change a month. And she's awesome. This is a little one person shop. You get at least one candle every month. She has a car freshener that she makes. And then, oh my goodness. Oh, right. I always forget how to open these boxes. And I need to cut the sides. Sometimes I get too excited for my own good. Okay. So again, Wicked Buy You Candles. And this is the October box. Yay. Nothing yet. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a Salem. Yes. Hocus Pocus Witches. One of my favorite Halloween movies. If you have never seen it, you should. It's a stupid, funny, awesome movie. All right, so we have four items in the box this time. We have an eight ounce candle, two different wax melts, and the car freshener. So the Witches of Salem car freshener. This is awesome. This says notes of vanilla and spiced cranberry with hints of citrus and cinnamon. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, please. That is so cool. That's so fun. I am totally hanging this up in my car and then seeing how many people notice that that's the Sanderson sisters. Okay, next we have, from Wicked Bayou Candles, the Evil Queen hand-poured paraffin wax candle, and this is an 8-ounce candle. Notes of fresh apples and mulberry with hints of peach and pineapple. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Next, we have Mistress of Evil Wax Melts. These guys have glitter in them. The Mistress of Evil Wax Melts are notes of crisp pine and white fur with hints of pomegranate. Mmm. And I probably 
got some green glitter on my nose. Oh, I like that. You definitely, um, you can definitely smell the pine and fir. You can definitely smell the trees in there. The pomegranate's not quite as pronounced. And this one is the Sea Witch Wax Melts. These have blue and purple glitter. The Sea Witch Woodsy Fresh Air with Hints of Floral. Yep. Yep, I get the fresh floral going. And it's got the purple and blue glitter in there. Fun, fun. So, that was it for Wicked by You Candle Company. I love, love, love hers. It is a really nice budget-friendly monthly subscription. But, and it's not always two wax melts and a candle and a car freshener. It's always a car freshener. You always get at least one candle. Last month we got two. I've gotten two wax melts before. Um, sometimes you'll get a trinket or just a, an extra. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes you get something that's not smelly at all. And that's okay. So yeah, Wicked Buy You Candles. Love them. Last box. My newest one. <clears throat> my newest book box. I think <coughs> I think in November or December. Yeah, I think in either November or December I'm going to do a book subscription um video see what other book boxes there are and I think I think that's kind of how I'm going to do my videos going forward, at least for a little while, just kind of go a theme a month and see what I find. May not last very long. We don't know. May cost me a whole lot less money than I'm doing now. I don't know. So this is Once Upon a Book Club, as I open it up without even showing you. This is Once Upon a Book Club. Obviously, it's a monthly book subscription, but this one you get a book and then bookish items to go along with the book and to go along and enhance the experience. The Once Upon a Book Club, I do believe these guys are $50 a month. This is one of my more expensive book boxes. No, this is my second most expensive book box. Yeah. And I have three of them right now. Yeah, I only have three book subscriptions, book box subscriptions right now. So this is my book club kit. Okay, this is new. What I say, is this my second month or my third month getting this? It's at least my second month getting this one. So, come on, open up here. I have on the back side of this a pecan Danish recipe that maybe possibly if I like pecans. I would probably be more inclined to be excited about that, but that's all right. It's just a recipe. All right. So we have a little bookmark. She was more than she always thought she was. And that is a quote from the book, I believe. Is it this book? Yep. So this is a quote from the book. We do have a signed by the author book plate. We have a letter from the author. 
that will take me a half a second longer to uh, read. Greetings from Seabrook, Oregon. So is this um, a new book? Maybe. And another new book. Geist Passage, I guess. Okay, but this is our book. And it looks like this is our book information. Nope. Okay, so this is a conversation with the author. And there is the author right there. This is Lisa Jewell. And then we can join in on the Facebook chat group on November 1st. They start with read along dates. Okay. All right. All right, cool, cool, cool. So I will put the book plate in the book later. So this is our book, The Night She Disappeared by Lisa Jewell. On the inside, there we go. Underneath the cover, beautiful blue with just the white um, debossed lettering there. How long is this book? Not quite 400 pages. So what's that, 69, 69 chapters in this book? This one says, It's a beautiful summer night in a charming English suburb when Tallulah and Zach head out to a bar for the first time since the birth of their infant son. Just 19 years old, they've been looking forward to this night and a break from bottles and divers. A party at the massive country estate of a new college friend seems like the perfect way to unwind until morning comes and the two don't make it home. Ooh. So is this a murder mystery? Awesome. Awesome. I don't think you can pick your book. Um, I think you can pick the book genre, but I don't think you get to, you don't get to know the book itself until you get it. So this is our book for this time around. And we have one, two, three, four gifts in this one. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. Start in order. So page 19, we start off. And it is a book. The Reading Journal. Okay. I would always rather be happy than dignified. Charlotte Bront quote from, from a Jane Eyre novel. Okay, so this is a TBR. Um, is that nothing but a TBR? Oh no. Did not finish. Favorites. Quotes. Favorite quotes. Monthly review. This could be fun. Maybe I'll start this in the next year. I've already lost track of how many books I've read. So this would be fun for next year, I think. So it looks like the first few pages are just a TBR, a, D a DNR, and then just some basic 
basic favorites and then the rest of the book. You have a monthly review and then you have individual book reviews. So this part is the random and this is all your book review pages and they are one on each side of the page. So this will be fun for me for next year. I'm down with that. I don't have any room up there, so I'm not going to put it up there. Next, page 34. Oh, let's see what it says. That one's page 19. <clears throat> and they do have a posting note that says, open your gift here. <clears throat> let's see. Kim finds a planner in the bag and flicks through it. It's full of Tallulah's dense, somewhat inelegant handwriting. She'd started off left-handed and forced herself to learn to write with her right hand to fit in when she was at primary school. There's no point looking for phone numbers. No one writes down phone numbers anymore. But maybe Scarlett's name will appear on a class list or some such. Okay. So she's got herself a little planner and we have ourselves a little planner. All right, page 34 is an inflatable pool koozie that's a pink flamingo. That's kind of cute, kind of dorky, not going to lie. So that was page 34. Okay, floating at the pool center inside a bright pink inflatable flamingo is a tall, thin girl with lime green hair and a black bandeau bikini top. She peers at Kim and her entourage, entourage curiously, then she says, oh, as the penny drops. Okay, so this is my little pink flamingo pool floaty that I'm imagining myself lounging in. But instead, it's just for a can. Let's see. So, yeah, that's adorable. Got your little pool floaty. Page 79 is in this here. And I'm going to have to cut you open. It is a trowel or a little shovel with a sign that says dig here. Okay, so there's that. This also, by the way, has an engraving on the underside. I had to look at that. That's not very has an engraving on the underside saying, your destiny is yours. And that is a quote from the author, Lisa Jewell. <clears throat> and you have a little cardboard thing saying, dig here. Um, could have done a little bit better on this. You can tell that this didn't uh, get put on correctly. So there's that. Otherwise it's cute. The engraving on the back is really cute and done well. It, you can read it quite nicely. So that's all right. So page 79 was this one. These are like all in the front and then there's one at the very end. <clears throat> So the cardboard does have a purpose. The arrow on the piece of cardboard nailed to the fence points down and slightly to the left. She has no idea if dig here is a precise instruction or a general suggestion, but she starts digging as close to the tip of the arrow as she can. She has butterflies as she digs. Her blood is filled with the adrenaline of dread. Hoo -hoo. So cool. 
So there's that. So far, I'm only really liking the reading journal. Um, that's obviously the biggest ticket item here. But one more. It's another. It's another book of some sort. Um, page two hundred and ninety-four. And it is an actual, another book? No, yes, yes, it is an actual, another book. Oh, the Hither Green Detective Agency, book one, and Fern Michaels Hidden. Oh, okay, well this is a cute little idea here. This is cute. So you have hidden in this fake book cover, the Fern Michaels book hidden. So what is page 294? Too far. Okay. See on this one it's different. You have just a little post-it note so you know it's pretty similar or pretty close to where that is. Um, Sophie closes her laptop then and is about to pick it up and leave when her eye is caught by something poking out from the half disgorged contents of Lexi's suitcase. It's a copy of her book. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So Fern Michaels hidden is hidden behind this dust jacket. Um, so that's cute. Okay. All right. Once upon a book club. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, okay. So the book has a retail value of $28. So that's half the box. And then you have this, which probably doesn't have a retail value on it anywhere. Probably not, but I'm going to guess this is probably $15. So you have like a $35 or $45 book. So these two here make up the value. Plus this is another $10 book. Yeah, $10 in the U.S. book. So there's the price of your book right there. Um, and that's only like five dollars over. We U.S. does get free shipping, but to Canada and globally, it does cost extra. This is kind of kitschy. I'm not. I mean, okay. If we're gonna get a little trowel, at least give me a set because I know they come in sets of three at minimum. Um, the homemade dig here sign was cute. Once I read the passage, of course, I understood why there's a cardboard sign that says dig here. And this is a cute, fun throw in thing. But if you're, I have a book, I have the main book and then I have these four things. So really all in all, this is probably like a $60 maybe a $70 book. And if I paid $50 for another box minimum, they're typically a hundred dollar boxes. So yeah, I mean, the good thing is these are, you do get the author's signature and a letter from the author. So those do, do add a little bit more value, but these are two throw in discard items. And really, this is what was holding the book, so to speak. So, all right. Yeah, so that was my Once Upon a Book Club box for October-ish. Let me know what you thought. I had the Vela box. I had BoxyCharm. 
I had Caribbean Inspired Treasures, I had Wicked Bayou Candle Company, and I had Once Upon a Book Club. What did y'all think of these subscriptions? I, let's see, enjoyed for the most part Once Upon a Book, book Club. I loved the Caribbean Treasures, loved Wicked Bayou, loved Vela Box, and at least a four out of five of my boxy charm. All in all, I'd say this was a win for today. All in all, I think this was a win. So I'm going to take my little flamingo pool koozie and chillax. I hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Let me know what you thought of these boxes and head on over to my channel and check out what other videos I have for you. See what other ones pique your interest and we'll catch you next time. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye everybody.